The reason I took down GameCube Dude 300 is because I wanted the part of my internet persona that was Super Mario Logan destroyed. Not cut down, not reduced, destroyed. I don't want a part of that community anymore. I don't want to be associated with that channel anymore. I want to take a quick moment to apologize to everyone who follows me on Twitter. I realized that some of the tweets I made were extremely vague and it caused a lot of you to get confused. Lavelle did not force me to take down my channel. But, he did pressure Logan into striking down my channel. A few weeks back, I decided I didn't really want to make that many SML reactions anymore. I decided I would make one every now and then. Then on July 3rd, I decided I didn't want a part of the SML community anymore. So I privatized about 90% of my SML reactions and I stated some opinions on Twitter. Keep that in mind. OPINIONS. This was apparently enough to make Logan hate me enough that he wanted all my SML reactions, even the ones where I praised him, deleted. Not unlisted, not privatized, not even unmonetized, he just straight up wanted them deleted. So Logan makes Lavelle call me, and the first phone call I get from Lavelle was nothing short of a disaster. Practically that entire phone call was me trying to speak and Lavelle screaming over me. I eventually got fed up with his behavior and hung up on him. Maybe five minutes later, he calls me again and this time he's got Logan with him. To Logan's credit, he was a lot more calm than Lavelle was. So you would think that we could actually start communicating somewhat. But no, Logan would talk, I would try to talk, and then Lavelle would just scream at me. That's how most of that call went. Lavelle was doing everything he could to keep me at a disadvantage in that phone call. He wouldn't let me talk, he was screaming at me, he was calling me fat, and there were a few times he was just like, Yo, Logan, fuck this, just take down the dude's channel. So eventually I just get to a point like, okay, fuck this, I've got other shit going on, I don't need this right now, I'll take down the fucking videos, whatever. So I get home from the mall with one of my friends, cause that's what I was doing at the time I got this call. I take down the few videos that were left up, like Jeffy's Homework or SML Remake, Toad's Mistake. And they also told me to delete all the videos I privatized, like it was gonna make a fucking difference, whatever. So I did everything they wanted, but that still wasn't good enough. You're not gonna believe this. Lavelle said I also had to delete the tweets where I mentioned him and Logan, or he was gonna strike down my other three channels. It was at this moment where any shrivel of respect, dignity, or anything I felt towards Lavelle was decimated. This was clearly an empty threat to me, but the fact that he would even try this just blew my mind. I decided at this point, enough was enough, so I blocked Lavelle on Twitter, I blocked him on Instagram, and I blocked his phone number. I didn't want to hear from him anymore. Then by coincidence, a little while later, somebody brought to my attention a video that was claiming that Logan had actually stolen the Jeffy character from a smaller YouTuber. Now I understand that more information has come out about this, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. This, for me, was the straw that broke the camel's back. I decided I was completely done. I didn't want my name associated with Super Mario Logan any way, shape, or form anymore. The thing is, about 70% of the subscribers on GameCube Dude 300 were just there for the SML reactions. So, I decided the best thing for me to do was to delete that channel and start clean on one of my other channels. Now, I'd like to clear up one thing that Lavelle has been saying. Lavelle was claiming that apparently I was butthurt that he didn't come on the Opinionated podcast. Well, that's not true. The thing is that Lavelle completely avoided coming on that podcast. Every time I asked him when he could come on, I never got an answer. He almost never messaged me back either, so I felt like he was just avoiding me. Even when we had a set date for him to come on, he didn't show up. He didn't even answer his phone. The first time he did this, he said it was because he had a funeral to attend. Now, I can completely understand, you know, attending a funeral instead of doing a podcast, but why didn't you just let me know about this? He didn't tell me until like the day after that he was attending this funeral. So now I'm pretty much convinced that he was never going to come on this podcast to begin with. Whether he actually was going to come on the podcast, I don't care anymore because now I don't want him on the podcast. I don't want to talk to him anymore, period. Now listen, anybody who's a fan of me because of my SML reactions, I think you might just be better off avoiding me and my content. No matter how much you guys ask for it, the SML reactions are not coming back. And if you only watched me for my SML reactions, don't waste your time with me anymore. Anybody who's a fan of my reaction videos in general will be happy to know that I'm going to re-upload some of them and make some new ones on GameCube Dude 200, this channel. Again, I don't want to associate with Super Mario Logan anymore. I just want to break off and be my own thing. For those of you who are sticking with me, I can't thank you enough for all the amazing support you guys have given. For everyone on Twitter who was supportive of my decisions, 
thank you as well. Once this all blows over, I'm gonna go back to working hard and making content for you guys again. I'm sorry that things had to happen this way. I'm sorry that a lot of you lost a channel that you loved, but I hope we can move on from this and I hope I can still continue to entertain you guys. Alright everyone, I'll see some of you guys in the next video. Peace out, my internet comrades. You will be missed, my friend, but I won't forget all the good times we had together.